What's up guys? All right, so let's do a quick little recap. So a couple months ago, I put out a video called How to Balance Your Zion Crane 2 with the 1DX Mark II. Now I bought the Zion Crane because I knew it could handle the payload of the 1DX Mark II, but when I actually got it and tried to balance it, well, it you couldn't lower it enough in order for it to work. So I figured out this hack, I put it out there, and the video actually did really well, got quite a bit of views, and it helped a lot of people out. So was really happy with how this turned out, but ultimately everybody was stuck kind of having to hack their Zyun crane in order for it to work. Well, since then, Zyun, I'm not saying because of my video, but I'm not saying be not because of my video, has released this guy right here. This is the Zyun Crane 2 adjustment bracket or gravity bracket as they're calling it for the 1DX Mark II. So I'm not saying I single-handedly, uh, you know, kind of made this product come out, but you know, either way, we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up right now. What's up guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If this is your first time, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this, I mean, this channel is all about gear, tips, tutorials, tips, tricks, all around filmmaking. And in this video, like I said before, we are going to be installing this guy here. This is the 1DX2 gravity adjustment plate for the Zyun Crane 2. Now this is basically the save all or the basically holy grail for you actually getting your Zyun Crane 2 to work correctly with the 1DX Mark II. So everything is on the up and up. You don't have to do any type of weird adjustments or hacks or anything like that. Now, full disclosure, this I paid for. Zyun did not send me this. I actually bought this the day that they came out. Right now, you can only order them through the Alibaba website or whatever, and then it gets shipped from China. Long story short, it takes a while for it to get to you, but I ordered this myself from Zyun. I think it's like 20 bucks. It's not super expensive, but I did buy this. Now, in that meantime, since I bought this, Zyun has reached out to me, and hold on, let me, let me show you. Now, they have sent me things. So, like, this here is the monopod which i'll be doing a video on shortly and then this is the follow focus system on like how to do follow focus for like cinema cameras and like for sony and panasonic and then um this here is a motion sensor remote i want to say it's kind of like the mimic arms on the movi pro but i haven't really got a chance to fully test this out yet either but gonna be doing videos on all these products but Zion did send me that stuff. Now they have not paid me a dime, but they did send me that gear. However, I bought the gravity plate myself for the 1DX2. And so this video is gonna be about that. Now, if you guys wanna know things about those other gears, leave those comments down below. So that way I can, you know, let you guys know um, that stuff in a future video. But this video is all about installing the Zion Crane 2 with the 1DX Mark II. And we're gonna call this uh, the 2.0 version. So. Let's get it. So obviously the first thing we gotta do is open this thing up. So um, there's a little sticker here on the top. Oh my gosh, screw it. There we go. All right, so let's see what comes inside the box. Come on. All right, so inside the box, they do give you some instructions. Uh, and then you get an Allen wrench. I need Allen wrench, definitely don't have one like that. So don't lose this. This doesn't look like a common one. And you get the gravity plate. So, all right, so this is kind of the, the biggest thing that I ran into. So in my last video on how to balance this, I talked about this, but it's this piece right here. It's the fact that this has been kind of edged up a little bit higher. This will allow the 1DX supposedly to be able to sit a lot lower and be able to sit on the Zion crane correctly. So it looks like what we're gonna have to do is kind of change out some of these screws here. Uh, and then the Zion crane should be able to balance perfectly with the 1DX2. Now, the whole reason why I got this was because I also wanted to be able to switch back and forth between my 1DX Mark II and other cameras. So that's the reason why I got this. If you plan on just using it for the 1DX, like I said, my hack has not given me any problems. I've been using it like since I did that and it's been working phenomenally for a lot of different shoots. Um, but I wanted to be able to kind of switch back and forth and I would just wanted, you know, for sure to make sure that I was balancing it the best way I possibly could. So that's why I picked this up. But 
let's go ahead and install this on the Zhiyun Crane 2 now. All right, so let me walk you guys through how to actually install this guy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that little Allen wrench that it came with and you're going to unscrew these four little screws. Now, unscrewing these are actually pretty easy. Just make sure you kind of hold the bottom piece in so that way it doesn't like fall apart on you and it makes it easier to get those screws out. But basically we're just taking off the bottom section where we actually attach our quick release plate or our quick release uh, for the camera. So we're just taking that piece off because we are gonna reassemble this to the new 1DX gravity piece. So once you take out these four screws, which are really easy, then what you're gonna need to do is actually go back and take out this remaining piece, which is the original gravity bracket that it came with. So just like we did when we did the hack, we're gonna unscrew these four screws right here. Now the thing to kind of make this a little bit easier is um, I actually unscrewed the side knob and then slid out the gravity bracket and then took off the four screws. That way those two little uh, kind of triangular looking pieces that are inside, they will then kind of, you know, fall out, but they'll stay inside if you hold it the right way. So I did that, I unscrewed it, took it out, and then basically you're just reassembling the whole thing using the new 1DX gravity bracket. Um, again, I put my triangular pieces in, put the gravity bracket in, put the top piece on, and just make sure that the screw piece is like facing out, but then screw that in, and by screwing that piece in, now your whole gravity piece and those triangular pieces will actually stay still. So then when you go in and you screw back in these four little screws, it's super, super easy and it's that easy. Now, obviously once you get the new 1DX gravity bracket in there, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and balance your 1DX. So balancing your 1DX on this guy is super easy. It's just like I taught you in the last video. Um, so you have all four axes that you wanna balance. The very first one that I balanced is actually the gravity bracket itself, so the up and down. The way you wanna do this is basically take your 1DX, lay it flat, and you want it to be able to stay still. So if it starts falling forward, then you wanna slide it up. And if it starts to fall backwards the other way, you're gonna slide it down. And keep adjusting this until you actually get it right where it's standing perfectly still. Then the next axis that I balance is actually this one, the one that controls like if the camera's like tilting down or tilting up. Uh, and again, you're just sliding your camera back and forth. Once these two are kind of balanced, then you should be able to like tilt your camera in any orientation and it should stay perfectly still, like it shouldn't be moving. Then the next one that I balance is the side to side. I don't know the, I don't know the terms of these things, so just bear with me. But I basically balance this axis here. Uh, and again, you're just kind of counteracting. So if you're camera is falling one direction then you're just going to slide it in the opposite direction and keep doing that until you get it right and then last but certainly not least is the um, bottom axis and this is one that I get a lot of people who message me about you know how to balance the 1DX and they keep saying that their gimbal is messing up well it's because of this axis most people forget about this one this is the most important again you want to slide your camera back and basically the whole goal when balancing this one is if you hold your gimbal sideways, you want your bar to kind of swing up and be parallel. Um, so quickly, just to let you guys all know who have 1DXs out there, these are all like, here are some clips that just show like which axis I am balancing and then what numbers they fall on. So hopefully this helps you take screenshots, do whatever you need to do in order to uh, kind of memorize these and use these as a guideline for where you want to be at with your crane but hopefully these shots help you and if, again if you need to take screenshots and try to get your gimbal similarly there now obviously I'm balancing mine with the 16 to 35 uh, L series 2 uh, not image stabilized uh, 2.8 lens so if you're using that exact same lens yours should be right around these same numbers but if you're using a different lens then your numbers are going to be totally different all right, so that's it. That's how you balance this guy. I love the brand new gravity bracket. It's super, super helpful. Now I like the idea that I can take my 1DX off, put a different camera on, and be able to switch back and forth super easy. Uh, also, this new gravity bracket is definitely a little bit thicker, and it's you know a little heavier, and it feels like it's you know a little bit more robust. So I definitely think it'll be able to handle the 1DX's weight a whole lot better. Um, you know, the old one, 
which is around here somewhere. You see, the old one here was just really thin and kind of small. Um, and I mean, it did a decent job, especially with the hack that I had to put on it. But now I love the fact that they actually have like a, a one designed for the 1DX Mark II. So anybody out there who's thinking about getting the Crane II, uh, obviously you could do the hack that I did before. It worked fine. I didn't have any issues with it, but I did want to go ahead and get the piece that they designed for the 1DX II so that way I could get the best possible working solution. And I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So there you go guys, that's all I have for you guys today. This video was all about just getting the 1DX Mark II balance on the Zhiyun Crane II with the new adapter piece. Um, so if you guys have any additional questions about the balancing process, definitely make sure you leave me those comments down below. Also, I have a link to the new bracket piece in the description down below as well. And again, I don't know if you guys have already heard, but today I believe is the last day you guys can actually enter to win my giveaway. I'm giving away an Aperture M9, so definitely make sure you sign up for that. Link to that also down there. I know I'm telling you guys to do a lot, but last but not least, certainly please hit that subscribe button. This is a great channel about filmmaking gear tips and tutorials. So hit that button too. There's a lot of buttons for you guys to be clicking on. Click on all of them. Just click, 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 click. Do your thing, do your thing. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow because as of this week, I'm posting daily. So it's a challenge, but I've challenged myself to do that and I'm going to. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What is going on? I'm doing a lot of this and click, click, click. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. All right. Why, why is this in my ear? Can you guys tell I'm not used to posting daily? I'll see you guys tomorrow.